Hi, this is Kevin Sub from Concentris. I want to share the quick tip to easily import CSV record of customer payment and troubleshoot the error message uh, when you import the customer payment. You might see the error message of unable to find a matching line for sub list apply with a key doc line. You might see this error message after you import it. This may be caused by the following reasons. Um, the number one, the payment being imported is applied to a transaction that already has status is paid in full. So please make sure the customer invoices transactions are open. Number two, there is no existing open transaction with internal ID or external ID um, that you um, recorded in the CSV file. So make sure the internal ID is always any alphabet numeric or alphanumeric, which is unique per customer payment record. Number three, an incorrect line number was entering the CSV file. Make sure the line ID is zero. And maybe it was a um, uh, fail to map the um, customer payment incorrectly. Could have been the uh, account was missing or maybe current field if applicable is missing or subsidiary field um, in instance when the transaction is not set to primary subsidiary of customer that could have caused a failure as well. Um, the lastly, the payment amount is greater than the remaining balance of the transaction that the payment is being applied to. So you might be overpaying it um, accidentally. So make sure um, the payment amount is um, not greater than the remaining balance. All right, let's go ahead and um, um, create a CSV file um, with the um, correct columns and headers. So I'll pull up the, so make sure we have the external ID and or customer internal ID or it could be customer name, uh, whichever, and make sure date, invoice ID and payment amount. Or so the invoice payment amount, line ID, posting period, account is all there. Now we're going to import the CSV file in this suite. We'll go to the setup, import export, import CSV records. Import type, we'll be choosing a transaction. And record type, we'll be choosing customer payment. And we'll be choosing a file of the test. and make sure that you're um, checking um, overwrite missing fields. And we're adding the um, records. So now we're going to map the uh, field accordingly. So external ID is already mapped. Payment amount is mapped. Posting period is mapped. Date is mapped. And payment number, which um, is mapped and customer will be using internal ID. Make sure you change it to internal ID. If you like to use a name, make sure you use the customer name. And we're going to come down here and we're going to expose the invoice. And it's gonna ask you to, um, it's also gonna map all required fields for the sub list of the payment as well. So invoices, we're going to use the invoice document number. Instead, we're going to remove the, and then the payment will be the invoice payment amount. And then the, we're going to add line ID, which is line ID. So where everything is mapped now with the account. And then the customer, we're using the internal ID. And external ID is mapped payment amount, posting period, date, and the actual customer payment invoices, which is we'll be using a document number. And then the payment amount, invoice payment amount and line ID. And if we compare that to our CSV file, 
it will look similar to like this. Let's see. So external ID, internal ID of the customer, document number, which is the invoice number, and then we're, we'll be using internal ID of the customer's name and then the invoice amount, line ID, posting period, account, and then the total, the payment amount. Once this is mapped, you can hit next and it will import um, the customer payment accordingly. Yep, I hope you enjoyed this video and helped you to um, easily import CSV record of customer payment. Um, thank you for watching this video.